Welcome, players from all dimensions. In tonight's episode of Midnight Scene, we follow Dr. Richard P. Griffin during the scariest journey of his life. For Dr. Griffin, things will never be the same again. Turn off the lights and relax. Midnight Scenes will begin after this quick word from our sponsor. Support your indie devs. Yes, please support the Octavia Navarro for creating this wonderful franchise game series. <laughs> but yeah. Hello and welcome back. I don't know why you're here. I don't know why I'm here. But we've got Midnight Scenes Episode 2 here. Uh, this is a special edition, I guess re release. I don't know. So we know this is going to be good because the last three games by Octavia Navarro I played have been amazing and left me wanting more. So let's see how this goes. Now this one is called the Goodbye Note. So should be a little interesting. <clears throat> Madison, my love. I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. If I had known that our goodbye at the airport was to be our last, I would have told you everything. I hope this note will reach you someday. That would mean my fears are unfounded. I'll be gone just a few days, Madison. A week at most, I promise. I just don't understand why this work meeting is so pressing. I mean, making you cross the country out of the blue with almost no notice. We're supposed to be visiting Dad at the lake this weekend. You know I wouldn't go if it wasn't important. That gas leak in the lab last night has put everyone on edge. You told me it was nothing. Should I be worried? No, it's only a small accident. Everything's under control. They just need me to do some paperwork. You know how these things are. I'll call you as soon as I get to Washington, okay? All right. On your way, my dude. Good evening, sir. May I see your ticket, please? What was that accent? But yes, uh... Where did I put it? Richard, here! You fell from your pocket. My love, you've been distracted all day. Is there something worrying you? Everything's fine, my dear. I have to go now or I'll be late. I love you. Here it is. Thank you, sir. Have a nice flight. I don't like airplanes. Yes, the goodbye note. Perfect. Okay. Where am I sitting? Five A. Okay. One, two, three. humans, three, four, five. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Let me help you put your suitcase in the overhead compartment. No, thank you. I'll carry it with me. I'm sorry, sir. The regulations. It'll stay with me. Thank you. Okay. Suit yourself. I mean, it's not like he's got anybody sitting next to him. <clears throat> Taking this plane was a mistake. I trapped myself. I love pixel graphics and grayscale. This looks amazing. <laughs> But you'll never see my ass get on a plane. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ex entering a thunderstorm and may experience some turbulence. Please remain seated with your belts fastened. Your wine, sir. Please don't put something on there. 
wing of the plane. Please don't put some random monster on the wing of the plane. Well, thank you, God. Can lightning make a plane explode, Mom? Just try to sleep, dear. Lady, your kid is asking an important question here. Oh, fuck. What happened? Did we crash? Uh... Where did everybody go? What? No, no, no! No, leave me alone! What have you done to all these people? You'll never get the Elysian while I'm alive, you hear me? Never! My head is spinning so fast right now. You might be wondering the real reason I got on this plane. You knew I was hiding something. It all started last night in the lab. Sorry it's so late, honey. I had to view this long checklist before calling it a day, but I'm on my way now. No, I don't think I'll go to Coleman's party now. I don't even have a present for him. Yeah, and you know, nobody will miss me anyway. Cursed words to say, my dude. Cursed words. Go to bed. I'll be home soon. What the hell? Hello? Who's there? What's that noise? It came from the control station. This is just a random exit door. Friday, October 19th. Okay, so this is what the party is. It seems like it's some kind of birthday. Shudder at the mere thought of what we're keeping in there. Cthulhu? Hello? Never a good idea to go start saying hello in a dark space. Uh, what the hell? Linda, you scared me to death. I thought you were at Coleman's party with everyone else. Hush. Oh, Richard, thank God you're still here. We might have a problem. I think the clean room might be compromised. Wait, what? what happened? I was doing maintenance on the main console when I heard noises coming from the roof. Listen. Did you hear that? It might be a small animal trapped in the vents. That's impossible. The whole area is sealed. Is it, though? Damn. Do you think it might be a rat? A bird? And outside the sealed unit will be enough to contaminate the whole air system in months of research. I better get to the clean room and make sure the Elysian is secure. Yes, good idea. Honey, why are you looking a little suspicious? We should be able to unlock the clean room doors with this console, but Coleman is the only one who knows how this thing works. Let's take a look. Please insert code. You need the correct combination of keys to enable the console. I know Coleman keeps a list of codes from somewhere. I'll wait here while you find it. Please hurry up. Uh, it looks out place in there. We're going inside to have a look. Okay, so that means we have to go back to Coleman's desk. Oh, it looks much more cheery. I'm sure everyone's having a great time at the party. The only guy I know would rather spend the night working than attending any kind of social event. No, I would rather not be at a social event. Drawer. Notepad. Um. Okay, so this must be our code. And that looks like a calendar. Twelve months. Okay, so. Okay, I think I get this. Whatever month it is, is what code we need, so. Wait, there was a thing here that said... No, get out of there. You don't have time. What? Uh, something about Elysia. What is Elysia? 
uh, October. Next site. Okay, so it is October, which means right, down, up, left. door is already open, honey. But okay. Yes, I've got the codes, woman. Okay, so uh, left, down, up, right. Oops. Should check that list to get the right one. Oops. Alright. Oh. Right, down, up, left. Got it. Sorry. I'm an idiot. Right. Up. Deck. Oh, frick. I said the wrong thing. Right. Down. Up. Left. I put it. Okay. Done. Alright. So. Oh, the door's on. Going in. Gonna suck. No. I know it's restricted access, but if you need any help hunting rats, I'm sure I could fit into one of those suits. I don't think the regulations. Just kidding. I know you have a phobia when it comes to breaking rules. I'll be watching from the control station. Uh, that woman's a little suspicious. Let's suit up. And go in it. Here we go. Zzz. I turn on the comm system. Shout if you need anything. Hey Linda, could you increase the temperature a bit? It's freezing in here. Probably for good reason. I'm on it. Much better, thanks. Hi, Linda. Did you find any rats yet? That's where the Elysian. That's the refrigeration system. I'm not hearing those noises. Whatever it was, it's probably gone now. You sure? I'm not seeing anything that raises cause for concern. But just be safe, I'll ask the maintenance team to replace the filters tomorrow. Better safe than sorry. Great, so can I get the hell out of here now? Okay, I think we can officially clear this false alarm. Everything looks normal here. Linda, I'm done here. You can open the door. I think you should check the Elysia. Make sure it's intact. I really don't think it's necessary. Everything's fine. Besides, I'd rather not open the secure compartment if it's not absolutely crucial. You know how much that thing creeps me out. Richard, I do it for you, but you're the only person with fingerprint access. You both heard the noises. We don't want any surprises. How could something even get in that thing? Fine. Elysian, the reason behind all the secure secrecy surrounded by job at the lab my many sleepless nights. <laughs> it's found in Antarctica a month ago and all our studies have been inconclusive so far. It wasn't made by human hands, but I fear it was created with humans in mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't belong on Earth, that's for sure. I knew it couldn't hurt anyone if we kept it in the lab under strict control, but it's not safe anymore. Its creators finally found it and they want it back. <laughs> Everything okay in there? No signs of contamination as far as I can see. Great. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Um. What? Uh. What's happening? Linda? Linda, can you hear me? Who 
Chris Linda, what have you done to her? What do you want? This thing, right? What is it? What are you gonna do with it? Uh, fuck. Temperature's dropping, that thing wants me to freeze to death! So it'll keep me warm for a few minutes, but it won't hold for long. I've gotta do something quick. It's terrified, blinded by fear. That creature tricked us into opening the secure compartment to get the Elysian. Linda most likely dead. I felt the fate of all humankind running on my shoulders. And in the end, I did the only thing I could do. It was ultimately foolhardy and pointless. I found the streets somewhere inside to escape the lab with the Elysian at front. Oh, frick me. You know, grab the random Chatulo esque object. Such a control, so I need to save before I freeze to death. Oh, screwdriver. White wire. Red wire. Fuck. Uh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, vent. Here we go. Screwdriver. Okay, I get a screw. Oh, I got it. I know what to do. Hi. Please don't make weird noises. I don't need a jump scare from you. Screw. There we go. And bloop. Good. Let's get out of here. Uh, what the fuck? What's this? You're the one making a rack in here. You're not a rat after all. Why the hell were you thrown in the fence? To get you in there. that all movies vents are somehow able to support a human body. I need to find someone with the Elysian not touching it with my bare hands. Fair enough. How about a suitcase? A few hours. Pop you in here. Yay. There we go. Now, get out of the shiny suit. Okay, so... Shouldn't stay in the lab any longer. It's not safe. Crash. Um, this car. What the hell happened here? Keys. Are those Linda's glasses? Huh? Wait. Never mind. Just get in the car. Get in the car, dude. You're wasting time. Why you're not running? I don't understand. But. <laughs> spent the night in a motel. I didn't dare risk going back home and exposing you to this nightmare. That's why I lied to you about the unexpected gas leak in the lab. That'd keep me busy all night. My superior Washington told me to take a plane and bring the Elysian to our headquarters. He thought it would be safe there. In the end, it's all for nothing. There's a trap inside this airplane, and I had to find a way to avoid the Elysian falling into that creature's hands. <laughs> okay. Pacing, pacing. You want to come on? You want the Elysian to come and get it? You'll have to kill me like you did Linda and all the passengers on this plane. Uh, oh, get something out of here. Blanket thing. Umbrella! I can deal with that. I can look with an umbrella. Let's see. There's gotta be something else. Hidden thing, hidden thing, hidden thing. Oh! Cabinet! I can open this. Fire extinguisher. Okay, so I've got some stuff. Wait, 
can I just take the Elysian? Make the suitcase, pick it up. Can't let the Elysian fall in that creature's hands. I need to find a way to get out of this plane. Oh boy. I got a bad, well, I need to leave this place as possible. Killing myself won't solve anything. Well, dude, can we open this? No. Cockpit. Hello? Is somebody there? Hello? Radio. I can hear the radio. I need to get in there and call for help. Locked. Okay, so fire extinguisher. And can't reach it. There we go. Well. Oh my god, it's flying on its own. That creature must be controlling it somehow. Um. Autopilot's a thing, isn't it? Okay, so now I have a parachute for some oddball reason. What? Instruments. Hello? Is anybody there? I need help! Hello? Damn, it's broken. Oh, fuck. Alright. Let's do it. What? The Elysian! I can't leave without it. I mean, dude, saving your own life seems like a much better idea than caring about this. Fuck! Was loud in my ear. Fuck. What happened? Are we dead? Did we cry? Uh. I mean, alive? I look like shit, but I'm alive? Uh. Oh boy, this isn't gonna be good. I don't care, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I can't voice act. This is how it ends. Hi. Madison, my love. I don't know how to explain all this in just a few words. I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. I thought I would be safe by now. Uh, what the fuck aren't you supposed to be Linda? Oh my god, your face. Hello, Richard. Mr. Fool. We shoot from the beginning. Which means the real Linda got killed in her car and replaced with Alien. Please, I beg you, just tell me what that thing is. I need to know. Such a fascinating work of engineering, don't you think? Been our eyes and ears here on Earth for more than a century now. So you locked it in that stupid sealed room, blocking its transmission. Now that it's working again, you'll have some really interesting neighbors very soon. <laughs> no. Oh, here they come! <laughs> no, please. Linda, cheer up, Richard. Your new life starts now. Where did that voice go from? Uh, sorry, what? Are you okay? It's the third time I've asked you if you want honey on your cereal. Something wrong? I'm fine, don't. In fact, I'm feeling great this morning. Quite energized, and dare I say, happy. Wife, then flicker. Curtains. I think today works <laughs> a great day. Well, but I think that sets up a wonderful day. As usual, excellent work, people. I love a good horror game.
You do too. <laughs> Scream fuck a few times. Alright, so that was pretty awesome. I had fun. Did you? So I'm just gonna let this take you home. You do the uh, Holy Trifecta of YouTube down below with a like, comment, subscribe. Pick up these games by Octavia Navarro because these are great games. One little bite sized horror. I love it. <laughs> And, uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good day, night, whatever, and, uh, you know, see ya.